What is up, guys? Welcome back to yet again another episode of Jihad Productions. Um, I know it's been a minute since I've posted. It's probably been about three weeks now. Um, I just want to start by saying, for those of you who are consistently asking when I'm going to drop another video, when I'm going to post another video, what's going on, if I'm good, if everything's okay, if Hazel's good, if Ivy's good, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate you guys. Um, you guys are actually, you guys are the actual supporters of this channel, and I really appreciate it. Now, I don't like doing these kinds of videos. I like to do action videos. I like to do stuff on my car. I like to drive my cars. I like to, you know what I'm saying, do stuff. But, okay, so let's just get straight into it. I'm going to go ahead and skip the intro for this video honestly um i might put it in the end i don't know um just because it's an update video and i don't feel like you know what i'm saying there's any need to make you guys sit through 30 seconds of a, cl a couple of clips of me looking off into space and shit <laughs> but basically a lot has happened within the span of those two to three weeks um, today is October 31st, which is Halloween, of course. Um, the last video I posted, let's, let's go ahead and look it up. Last video I posted. Last video. I posted a video three weeks ago saying, not again, man, that got 70 views. Before that, I posted a video four weeks ago in total, which was 132 views. We are currently at 636 subscribers, which is amazing. Hopefully we can get to 700 by the end of the month coming up. Um, so basically, let's just get straight into it, bro. I'm at work and I'm driving. I'm driving down the street, I'm by U of H. By U of H's baseball stadium, actually. Their stadium is like right here and I'm coming this way. Their stadium's Across, like there's an there's a four-way intersection with a stop with stoplights. Of course, their state their stadium is across the street from where I was at. I was coming to the light to make a turn, so I was slowing down. Um, all of a sudden, I heard. Well, let me let me back up real quick. I put spacers on the car. Um, I can't tell you guys why. I'm gonna just let you guys' head roam. But I put spacers on the car and. Now all of this will make sense. So I'm driving, I'm slowing down, I'm on the phone with my girl. I'm slowing down and all of a sudden the car starts shaking like uncontrollably and I'm like, bro, what the hell is going on? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, ah, uh, shit, some, some else, you know? So I'm already slowing down, so I was like, fuck it. I guess I'll just turn over because there's a McDonald's right there. I guess I'll just turn, get off the street, turn into the McDonald's and see what's happening. So... I start to slow down, the car continues to shake, and then I just hear a bang. And I'm like, what the fuck? And the car drops. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? And I look up and I see, no cap, I cannot make this shit up. I see my rim, and well my, you know, the whole wheel, the tire, everything, rolling down the street towards incoming traffic. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck? And it's raining, mind you, it's raining. It was on a Friday, it was raining. It was at like, I wanna say 10 o'clock. <laughs> I was supposed to get off at 11. It was like 10, 30-ish. So I was almost done with my shift. And the wheel just rolls down the street. It's dark outside, it's raining. My first thought is, what the fuck? Man, shit, fuck it, I gotta go get my rim. So I put my car in park, put the emergency lights on, left that bitch running, left my phone in that bitch, slammed the door, nigga, took off running. My wheel rolled all the way down the street, past the baseball stadium, past the parking lot. I was like, bro, what the fuck? So I'm running, and then I'm looking, I can't really see, and I wanted to take my flashlight out, but I left my phone in the car. So I'm like, ah, oh, shit. So then I start walking through the grass and looking for it. I found it. Thankfully, there was no cracks, no bent rims, none of that. It didn't get a curb rash, nothing like that. Thank God, because, bro, 
Y'all don't understand, bro. Those are my babies. Those are my dream wheels. And I will forever love those wheels. So, I get the wheel, and I'm walking back to my car. I'm holding the wheel like this. People are looking at me as I cross the street, like, what the fuck is he doing? Um, get back to the car, I'm like, all right, bet. It's time to assess the damage. Let's see what the fuck happens. So, I'm looking at the car, and I see that one of my lug, um, my wheel studs snapped. And then I'm looking for the spacer. I'm like, where the hell is the spacer? Because it's not on the car. Um, one of the studs, one of the studs snapped, and then the other four were like bent, like either there was some that were two of them were like bent in, and then the other two were like kind of bent outward. So the whole thing was just realigned. And I was like, where the hell is my spacer? And I was like, fuck, did I just lose my spacer? Huge shout out to my guy Chris. Um, he let me borrow them hoes. He put me on. He has a wide body Camaro. I did a video with him. Um, not too long ago, actually. If you haven't seen that, I'm gonna put a card right here. It did really well. I think it's at like 1,200 views right now. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but he let me borrow his spacers. So I'm like, fuck, did I really just lose this nigga's spacers? So I start looking around, and then I look at my wheel. The spacer is still on the wheel. So I'm looking at the spacer, and the spacer is all chewed up. I'm gonna insert some clips um, probably after this clip. The spacer is all chewed up, it's fucked up. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck? So I'm like, what the hell happened? Like, did the thing I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is the stud snapped and the spacer became loose. And since it was so tight onto the wheel, but it wasn't tight onto the hub itself, it was just rattling inside because one, it was raining, two, I was losing a hope. I was losing traction a lot that night. I'm not gonna lie. I had traction control off, you know, driver mod or whatever. I had traction control off, so I really didn't have any traction. I was kind of spinning at every light, um, spinning on acceleration and stuff like that. So I'm guessing that the spacer became loose and kept grinding up against the hub. And once the stud snapped, it was just wrap snacks. And there was nothing that nobody could really do. Also, I don't have a welded a world diff. So it was on the wheel that the wheel that actually turns the car, if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me, but I believe I'm right. It, the wheel that actually turns the car was the wheel where the spacer broke off of. It's the wheel that actually came off of the car. So I'm guessing because I'm accelerating and, you know, I'm saying the tires are spinning, it, it had the spacer going haywire and shit. And the fucking spacer came off. Now, that is just one part of the night. So I get my jack out and I jack up the car. And I'm like, fuck it, I gotta try to take the spacer off, try to put the wheel back on or some shit, because it's raining. And you know what I'm saying, shit wasn't looking good. Some, some dude and his girl pulled up on me and they were like, you need help? And I was like, shit, fuck it, yeah, hell yeah, come on. So they came out, they parked their Jeep, real cool people. They parked their Jeep and they was, help, they was trying to help me like, you know, take all the, like straight not the studs we were trying to knock the studs back into place the ones that were still on the car um it didn't work out because i only had like this cheap ass mallet i didn't have an actual hammer so then some other dude pulls up and he's like do y'all need help and i was like uh not really but you know i don't want to be mean and so i was like yeah come on so the dude came and then this dude he like acted like he knew everything and was talking a whole bunch of shit and I was just like, bro, honestly, at this time, I don't need that. <laughs> like, if you're going to help, that's cool. If not, you can get back in your car and leave. And he looked at me like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, shit. And he left eventually. And so it started raining harder. And I remember that I had OnStar. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to go ahead and press the button. It's a button on my rear view mirror. But once you press it, it calls them sends them your location it's basically like 911 sends them your location and shit and then they'll bring a tow truck to you or whatever you need um they can also unlock your car from their like headquarters as long as it's not in the parking garage and the car's been on before like within the hour or some shit like that which is insane to me i what the fuck <laughs> but anyway so i called them niggas they was like okay We'll send a tow truck. I was like, that's cool. I said, don't send a flatbed because I cannot put my wheel back on my car. She said, okay. So 
They told me that it was gonna take about an hour and 30 minutes to come. Mind you, all of this, it started at 10. After those people left, it was like 11 o'clock. It took like, we, we were doing all this for like an hour, no cap. They said it's gonna take an hour and 30 minutes for the tow truck to get there. So at like 12.30, I get a call from the tow truck dude. He's like, hey man, I'm like nine minutes out. I said, that's cool, man. I just need to get this car back to my house. Mind you, I'm down the street from my house. So I was like, oh, that's cool. I just need to get my car back to my house um, and just park it. And he was like, what happened? I was, I was like, oh, they didn't tell you? He was like, no. I said, my wheel came off of my car and I can't put it back on my car. He said, oh shit, I can't help you. I don't have, I have a flatbed you need a dolly. I said, I told her to send a dolly. He said, yeah, let me call her cause I can't do anything. I said, okay, cool. So he calls her, she calls me back, says, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, how about the truck truck? We're gonna send another one out. We're gonna send a dolly to you. I was like, okay, that's cool. So I go back to work to go turn in my money. My guy, Dalen picked me up, huge shout out to him. Dalen picks me up, I go back to work, I go turn in my money. He went back on another delivery. So I had to walk back to the whip. At the time, I had a cracked iPhone uh, 6, no, 7 Plus. It was rose gold, it was cracked, and it was raining. And I was walking in the rain, and the phone broke. So you can imagine how fucked up this situation is. Let me put it into perspective for you. My wheel comes off of my car. Fuck. <laughs> the people send out a tow truck, the wrong tow truck. Fuck. I have to go drop off money at work, then walk in the rain. Fuck. Walking in the rain and my phone that these people are supposed to call when a tow truck is coming or on the way broke. I have no way to call anybody. Nobody knows where I'm at except my girl. And I can't call nobody. Fuck. <laughs> so like, I was just fucked. Like I had no, I couldn't do shit. I didn't have a phone. Uh, if I wanted to leave my car and the tow truck were to pull up, he was going to call me. So I couldn't even leave the car. So I'm stuck sitting in my car while it's on the jack. And I couldn't do shit. So I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to take the spacer off of the wheel. Um, the bolts were too tight because the wheel was just spinning everywhere. So what I did was I took the pole off of the jack i jacked the car up from the diff i took the pole off of the jack and used it to take the spacer off the wheel little did i know i wouldn't be able to put the pole back onto the jack because it the jack went back up and so it's like completely underneath the car and the pole wouldn't fit fuck <laughs> so then fast forward i used siri to call my girl and i told her to pull up because i was fucked I was stuck. I had nothing to do. So she pulls up. Now it's like one o'clock in the morning and I'm still waiting for a tow truck. So I'm like, fuck, for real. So the tow truck finally pulls up at like 140 and he brings a fucking flatbed. And I'm like, bro, I can't use your tow truck. It's not going to work. And so my mom calls my girl and she's telling me, she, my mom is trying to tell me to leave my car and go home and come back the next one. And I was like, fuck no. A drunk driver could hit my shit and then just pull off. Somebody could just take the wheel off of the other side, break into the car and take the wheel that's inside the car. And then they got two Z28s and I'm stuck in the car until I fix it. My car is not staying here overnight. So then the tow truck driver, he says, I can't do anything, I'm sorry, and he leaves. So I waited from 10 o'clock to damn near 2 a.m. for two tow truck drivers, and my car didn't get towed. And this nigga left me in the rain and was like, I can't do anything. So now I'm frustrated. I'm like, fuck it, bro, I gotta get this whole home. I'm not doing this shit. Fuck it. And mind you, this is this happened a couple weeks ago, so like the story is kind of coming. Like what happened is all coming back to me. So like if I'm jumping back and forth, I'm sorry. 
But anyway, so I'm like, fuck it. I take my wheel and I threw it onto the onto the hub. I kicked that bitch on, took a took a lug and I started tightening it. It started to tighten. I was like, bet. I got somebody up. Some drunk dude came. He had a jack. He helped me uh, jack up my car from the side so I could get my jack from underneath the car. So once I get the wheel on, I'm like, bet it's up. We're going to limp this car back to the crib and just park it. And I'm going to analyze everything tomorrow. Mind you, now it's like 2.30 in the morning. I got a uh, U, U of H police officer basically sh Basically, like, driving in front of us or whatever with his lights on so that people know, like, chill, don't, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever, giving us an escort. Um, get back to the crib. I parked the car. And it's been sitting at the crib ever since, man. Um, I haven't, I, I mean, we took the rest of the spaces off. But that's as much as we've done, honestly. It's, it's just been a pain in the ass, bro. I'm not gonna lie, but that's what's been going on with Hazel. She's still in the parking garage, just waiting for me to, you know what I'm saying, get into it really. Um, I also said by in the in the title of this video that I was gonna be introducing something to the channel that's very big. Um, me and my girlfriend drove all the way to College Station to go pick this up. So without further ado, I want to introduce you guys to my new husky, Jules. We got her when she was eight weeks. She's a total of nine weeks now. Um, she was 7.4 when we weighed her at first, and then we took her back to the vet, and she was 8.6, I think. So she's, it was only a week later that we took her back to the vet, so. She's getting big for her size, for um, being only nine. She loves to cuddle and shit. She be licking on, she be licking on your face and shit in the morning. Party training has been, honestly, it hasn't been that bad. It's it's okay, I guess. Like she does this thing where she shits outside the cage, but she'll pee outside the pad. But I don't know. Also. Um, me and my girlfriend are starting a couples channel. She's been wanting to do that for a long time. So we're going to be starting another YouTube channel here in a little bit. Um, we've already shot like two videos already. Um, just waiting to do a couple more things to edit it and um, put, them, put the videos all together. But yeah, man, this is my new Husky Jules. <laughs> Say what's up, mama. Say what's up. What's good? Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Fuck with me.